All right, so here is another problem that can be solved with an MVP chart. Uh, basically, we have a football that's being kicked, so the kick represents a force, so that means there's a change in momentum. So basically, anytime there's a change in momentum, uh, we can make one of these charts. So again, we start by drawing a vertical line, and we've got our before and our after, and there's only one object, the football, so we'll have an MVP on one side and an MVP on the other. So the football has a mass of 0.4 kilograms. That's both before and after it gets kicked. It does not change. Uh, it starts, it's sitting still on a T, so its initial velocity is zero. And we're trying to figure out how fast it will be traveling afterwards. And we know that it was kicked with a force of 250 newtons for 0.05 seconds. So Let's start off by finding the momentum before. So if m times v gives us our momentum, anything times zero means it had zero momentum before it was kicked. And then the momentum after will not be zero because we know it's moving. But how fast is it moving? How much momentum does it have? Remember, the change in momentum, delta p, is the force, 250 newtons, times the amount of time it's being kicked for, 0.05 seconds. So if we do 250 times 0.05, 12.5 kilogram meters per second. So that's the change in momentum. So we start with zero. So the new momentum is 12.5 kilograms meters per second. So then what is the velocity? Well, 12.5 equals 0.4 times V. So now we just solve for V. And we get the velocity is 31.25 meters per second. That's how fast the football is going. A good rule of thumb is that one meter per second is about two miles an hour. It's actually a little more than two miles an hour. So this would be a football going about 60, 65 miles an hour, which isn't unreasonable. It never hurts to check and see if something makes sense, too. So yeah, that's that. Here's another problem, very similar, same thing. We have a car, and we can use an MVP chart. So we've got the car before, and we've got the car after. So mass... Velocity, momentum, mass, velocity, momentum. The car's mass is 1,200 kilograms, both before and after. The car is currently moving 40 meters per second, and the driver presses the brakes. And the pressing the brakes is going to change the momentum. It's going to change it by its 8,000 newtons for 2.5 seconds. So we will just use... Um, F times time, and I get a change in momentum of 20,000 kilogram meters per second. Now one thing that's not maybe obvious here is they're pressing the brakes, so that is going to make them go slower. And since we're calling the initial velocity positive, um, this is going to have to be a negative momentum. So that's going to be negative 20,000. So their initial momentum, if we do this, 40 times 1,200 uh, is 48,000 is their initial momentum. So if they hit the brakes, causing them to lose 20,000, their new momentum will be 28,000 kilogram meters per second. And then from that, we can find the velocity, right? So 28,000 equals 1,200 times V. 28,000 divided by 1,200. I get 23. 0.3 meters per second. So it's a slower speed. Uh, that's a reasonable answer. So uh, that's all you're really doing um, is setting this up and just remembering change in momentum is force times time. You can basically solve any of these types of problems. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.